budget is more than just numbers. It's about people. It's about people who need our help. I was proud of the leadership shown by Assemblyman Woman Gunther when she took this on. I was proud to sign that letter, and I appreciate the opportunity that you gave me to join in that bipartisan effort. And I have to tell you, I was incredibly impressed on the Budget Reconciliation Committee when I heard the impassioned speech from Assemblyman Weisenberg who spoke from his heart about how important it is that we, as a legislature, focus on helping those who need our help the most. And I was pleased when both one house budgets included full restoration. No one elected any one of us to be a rubber stamp for anyone else in this government. We were all elected to exercise our individual conscience. And I believe that. And I will tell you, while I have tremendous respect for everyone else who's involved, I'm going to vote my conscience, and I know you will vote your conscience too. The vote that we're being asked to take right now on this amendment is not a vote on 14 amendments, it's a vote on one amendment. It's not about $2 billion in changes, it's about $90 million in changes. And that $90 million is matched by federal funds, so this is a chance for us to double, double the impact that we are making with this budget amendment. I know all of us have the best intentions when we're elected and when we show up here on the floor of the Assembly. But it's not just good intentions that pay the bills. It's not just good intentions that make sure those with developmentally disabled have the services they need, they desire, and they, they must have. Are we willing to risk the livelihoods and the lives of developmentally disabled over this small restoration? I don't think anyone in, a, in, this, in this chamber feels comfortable doing it. So what's the impediment? The concern, perhaps, is that if we restore the restoration in full, the governor will veto it. I got news for you. When I signed the letter that was circulated by Assemblywoman Gunther, when I spoke on behalf of the committee, I meant every word I said, and I know you did too. And by God, if this is vetoed, I'm ready to vote to override that veto because that's how important it is. And are we worried that the budget might be a few days late? That our esteemed senators, whom we all respect, might have to come back? God bless them. And I hope they have the courage to vote to restore these funds as well. So I urge all my colleagues who I know want this to happen to stand up and take that courageous vote and make it clear. When we say we support something, by golly, we really mean it. Thank you.